How you guys doing? Good, how are you? All right. How was your Christmas? It was great. Celebrated with a big victory. In your old stomping ground. Yes, had a great time. Nice hotel. A little cold, but it was cool. Probably warmer than the rest of the country, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, can you tell us a little bit what um, Joe and Anthony have given you playing every snap the last two games. I mean, it's kind of unheard of. They're doing it out of necessity. What have you seen from them those two games? Uh, those guys are young. They can handle it. But, uh, you know, that's tough when you see pass rushers. Normally, you know, you get those guys a breather. But old school, when I was coming up, them guys didn't want to come off the field. They didn't want to miss an opportunity for a sack. But uh, they're doing a good job. Those guys are energetic. Uh, they're young. They can handle it. To give this offense a chance to kind of get rolling, and of course, getting that overtime, that overtime victory, it doesn't happen without several plays made by your defense. Uh, I mean, it's a team effort uh, on the defense. You know, the back end, up front. Uh, that's a different offense we face. Uh, a lot of elements we had to prepare for a screen game. Uh, a lot of spacing. Guys did a good job. DBs played well. They limited a lot of big plays. And uh, we tackle. You must be prepared to stop the run every week, right? I mean, that's job one. But when you play a team that is so insistent, you know, in the games they've won, they're running 40 times, right? right. You want to get them out of that. How does, how does that, what's that challenge like for your defense? What do you have to do? Uh, you got to bring your big boy pass. Uh, you got to be gap sound. You got to uh, be physical. You got to bring that demeanor to the game. And uh, they got big backs. Uh, what, 33 is a big guy, 30 slashing. Uh, but you got to be gap sound. You got to know what to do with the ball. You got to know where our help is. And you got to play uh, fundamentally sound up front. And you got to be willing and ready to uh, come meet it head on. You know it's a long day. I mean, you, you, you prepare for that mentally. That, right. Like, this is going to be one of those days where I'm just. Oh, this is a great day as a linebacker. This is great. This is what you want. You why you can't wait for this game. Uh, you love to play play these type of uh, games, and uh, especially in my room, guys are excited. And uh, it's really gonna be who's tougher. And uh, they bring that type of game, and uh, I can't wait for Sunday to see. Can you speak to the importance that uh, Carlton Davis brings to the defense, and um, in your opinion, as of late. Do you you feel like he's raised his game at all? Maybe it's because of the, the quality of receivers that he's gone up against. But do you see a, a little bit of a difference in Carlton's play for the better as of late? Well, I've been like that since we've been here. I think uh, the contract uh, he signed this offseason speaks to that. He is uh, number one corner. He does a great job. What's not being talked about is, you know, DJ Moore and Marshall. Those guys are making uh, big plays for them. So, you got to load the box, stop the run, of course, and but we're going to need those guys to uh, hold up on the back end. But you see on tape, you see all the rushing yards, but those guys are making big plays. So it's going to be a big challenge, and um, Carlton, those guys, and Bunning, those guys up for the challenge. And Sean Murphy Bunting is a guy that that's really hasn't played outside a whole lot, and I think he's playing inside. And he goes out there, and, and DeAndre Hopkins, you know, he had like double-digit targets, and he had what, like two catches. I know Sean had two pass breakups against him specifically. Just what can you say about the job he did and, and really the, what he's done the last few weeks? He was locked in. He was locked in. Uh, he has the experience playing outside. He did a good job for us. That was a big-time challenge last week playing against Hopkins. And uh, them guys are – it's December. You know, they've been there and done that. They know what it, it takes to win – during this time of the year, and those guys are locked in. That, that first Carolina game, I think they rushed for 100 yards in the second half, and, and you guys have had a couple games where it's a really dominant first half that, that gets away just over time. Is, is there a key to getting your guys to make sure they have fresher legs than the guys running at them in the second half of these games? No, it's December ball. It's December ball. we got to stop them guys. Uh, the tape tells us it's going to be a long uh, game. We've got to get them off the field. Uh, it's like one of those heavyweight fights, and uh, they're going to keep punching and punching. We're going to see who wears down first. Anything else? Right. Thank you, guys.